are now, not outside of regional partnership, but inside, leading. I believe that, uh, and this, this is going to be a little bit controversial, I would believe, I would suggest to you, that we as taxpayers would not be in the situation we are with the massive debt we have if we had, seven or eight years ago, thought about what our plan was, worked with the region, and we would have had water in a half the price in a more planned, thoughtful, sustainable way. So those that say the partnership is done or is, is evil and does wrong things, I think if we had thought about it, if we came to it strong, we would be in a much better situation now than we are now. I will also work to de with developers and residents to make sure that we're really clear from the outset what the good development is and uh, make sure that there's no nasty surprises or expensive surprises for both the developers and the county. Uh, I will end up working tirelessly for landowners uh, to make sure, and this is in some of the plans, to make sure that the city, Cochrane, urban water service payers actually pay you to keep your land in production so that it preserves and protects the watershed for the greater region. Uh, it's there, it's going to take some work, but we'll get it done. My experience, just very quickly, uh, yes, for a bio, I've been executive director of that CRP. It's going to save, after five years of work, the taxpayer some $400 million in infrastructure costs if that plan were to be implemented. That plan also reduces sprawl by some 60% of our region. 400,000 acres is protected from sprawl and, and, and used for agriculture. You may remember me 10 years ago, I was brought into the Stony Nation and uh, with national media about and, and huge difficulties, I, with a great team, balanced the budget, put the Stony Nation in accountable governance and uh, with good services and on a sustainable footing. So I've been there, done that, and want to do it for, for, uh, for Rocky. One question I do get, and this is one of my vulnerabilities, is that we have a division where there's Bragg Creek and Jumping Bound. But I don't live in Bragg Creek, so some people are accusing me, well, you don't live in Bragg Creek, how can we vote for you? And I have to say, well, sorry about that. I could live in both places at once, but nor could my opponent. So we're both stuck in this situation where I believe, as I knock on the hundreds of doors in Bragg Creek and Jumping Town, that we share a common value, that we all believe that we want to protect the environment, that we want to look after our agriculture, and that we want to make sure that we can stay sustainable financially and affordable for our, our children and their children. So there you have it, that's me. I'd like to sort of leave with what I think is a clear choice. Any flags flagging at the end? Or are you just asleep? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad my timekeeper fell asleep, so it's okay, I can just go on for the rest of the night. Uh, I'll leave you with this question that I think is a real clear choice. Uh, for the entire county, for all three divisions, and that is, do we go the route of an unplanned, perhaps unsustainable future environment? We are we, as, uh, as, as, as a task force underway, where those questions are being asked. Do we want a plan, or don't we want to have a plan? I say we want a plan. So the choice is unplanned, perhaps unsustainable, uh, and uh, environmentally challenging or we take a more collaborative, sustainable route where our prosperity and our environment are preserved. And uh, if you want to uh, take that latter choice, I'm your man. <laughs>